वेलकम एन स्टडी सर्कल करंट अफेयर्स फॉर यूपीएससी एसएससी एंड पब्लिक सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फर्स्ट अप्रैल 2020 द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ फर्स्ट अप्रैल April Fool Day sometimes called All Fool Day is celebrated every year on April 1st by playing practical joke and spreading hoax and jokes and their victim are called April Fools second April 1st 1936 Orissa and Bihar were recognized as new province under the British the state were earlier part of bengal but fear bifurcated into separate state in 1936 this is the this is a province for orissa and bihar next topic is central launch darpgs national monitoring dashboard dr jitendra singh the union minister of state for personal public grievances and pensions launched the department of administrative reform and public grievances darpg national monitoring dashboard on covid-19 grievances on april 1st national monitoring dashboard the national monitoring dashboard was developed as implemented as https डबल डॉट स्लॉस स्लॉस डी ए आर पी जी डॉट जी ओ वी डॉट इन कोविड नाइन्टीन रिलेटेड ग्रीवेंस रिसीव इन सेंट्रलाइज पब्लिक ग्रीवेंस रिट्री एंड मॉनिटरिंग सिस्टम सी पी जी आर ए पी एम एस विथ ऑल मिनिस्टर्स डिपार्टमेंट एंड स्टेट यूनियन टेरिटरीज आर मॉनिटर ऑन ए प्रायोरिटी बेसिस बाई द टेक्निकल टीम ऑफ DARPG the establishment of national monitoring dashboard persons of empowered group of official 10 constitute under the disaster management act 2005 on public grievances and suggestion to ensure timely implementation of covid-19 response activities it will ensure timely redressal of covid-19 grievances and direction that have been issued to all ministers departments to prioritize this grievance and provide redressal in a period of 3 days the portal will be updated and monitored at senior level in government on a daily basis the national monitoring dashboard received 43 grievances of ministry of health and family welfare 31st 31 grievances of ministry of external affairs and 26 grievances of ministry of finance so far the nature of grievances related to quarantine facilities lockdown not being ordered by complaint essential supplies related complaint examination related complaints rescheduling of interest repayment on loans evacuation request from foreign countries etc next topic is nppa revised sailing price of 883 scheduled formulation national pharmaceutical pricing authority nppa revised the sailing price of 883 scheduled formulation on 31st march it noted the supply destruction of active pharmaceutical ingredients caused by the covid-19 outbreak is retaining to normalcy highlight the authority stated that no unusual price fluctuation in the price of input for medicine therefore only normal price revision has been allowed the wholesale price index wpi increased was based on the department for promotion of industry and internal trade data also the increase in sailing price is based on wpi which is 1.8846 percentage 
the revision in the selling price of formulation in greece the revision of selling price of the cardiac state also the revised price has been made effective from april 1st 2020 the detail of revised price is available on the official website of nppa or www.nppaindia.nic.in nppa nppa was established in 1979 sorry 1997 it regulate the pricing of drugs and ensure the availability of accessibility of medicine at affordable price it is headquarters in new delhi it function under the ministry of chemical and fertilization the function of ppa is include implementation and enforcement of the provision of the drug pricing control order it monitor the availability of drugs identity shortage if any and to take remedial step next topics finance minister participate in g20 meeting of finance ministers finance minister nirmala sitharaman sitharaman participate in the second extra ordinary g20 finance ministers and the central bank governors meeting it was hosted under the chairmanship of saudi arabian on 31st march the ministers discussed the impact impact of covid-19 pandemic on this global economy and coordinate effort in the respond to this global challenge the meeting was a follow up on the discussion on the first virtual meeting of the discuss follow up in the line with the statement made by g20 leaders during the g20 virtual leaders summit held on 26 march highlight of the meeting the g20 members will provide an opportunity to all g20 members to not only share their individual experience but also to work in better coordination the meeting was held virtually on a regular basis to continue discussion on the evolution of the covid-19 pandemic they also discuss the impact of market and economic coordination and take further action to support the economy during and after this phase the ministers recommended a g20 action plan in response to covid-19 and also a close cooperation with relevant international organization it aims to provide an opportunity for immense cross learning and critical insight discussion regarding regularity and supervisory measures to support and quickly revive the economy was held it was suggested that international monetary fund can develop in a innovative and ignatius method to meet covid-19 released financial regul- requirement given that policy sh- shape is severely constructed in most countries in, in these unpredicted circumstances next topic is un report stated covid-19 is worst crisis in world war 2 the united nations warned that we world countries face the most challenging crisis since world war 2 the pandemic is expected to cause a recession that probably has no parallel in the recent past the announcement was made by the un secretary general antonio gutierrez during the launch of report the socio economic impact of covid-19 on 31st march rip the highlight rip of the this report you and stated that there is also higher risk that has combination of the disease and the economic impact will contribute to enhanced instability and unrest and conflict the report also highlighted the international labor organization or ilo established for the year of 2020 which stated 5 to 25 million jobs will be lost with a corresponding loss of the between dollar 860 million and per dollar 3.5 trillion in labor income it pointed to the un trade and development organization uncetad is established of 30 to 40 
percentage downward pressure on global foreign direct investment fda flow in 2020 it also recommended establishing the covid-19 response and recovery fund to support effort in low and middle income countries which the aim of shifty enabling government to tackle the crisis and promote in recovery this is un secretary general antonio guterres next topic is atal divas observed on 1st april atkal divas meaning odisha day is observed on 1st april in odisha every year the day marks the formation of the state in in the year 1936 the day remember the contribution and sacrifice made by the people of odisha atkal divas is celebrated in many cities towns in india are abroad where the people from odisha reside history the state was formerly a politically separate state in british rule on linguistic basis on 1st april 1936 the newly formed odisha state constitute of six district namely puri baleshwar Sabalpur, Koraput, Gunjam, and Katak. The capital of Orissa was Katak. The first governor of Odisha province was John Austin Habak. In 1950, the state became the constituent state of India. 19, in 2011, the name of the state changed Odisha from Orissa, and name of the language was changed in Odisha from Oriya. Later. with an increased population the state was divided into 30 district odisha formed on 1st april 1936 governor ganeshi lal chief minister navin patnaik capital bhubaneswar district 30 official language odisha odia bird indian roarer flower ashoka dance odisha the state is bordered with west bengal and jharkhand to the north andhra pradesh to the south Chhattisgarh to the west. Next topic: Tokyo Olympics game rescheduled to to two thousand twenty one July. The Tokyo Olympics games have been rescheduled to be held from twenty three July to eighty sorry eight August two thousand eleven to two thousand twenty one. The announcement was made by the organizers of Tokyo. 2020 Ombli Olympics and Para Olympic Games on 13th March. The Para Olympic Games will be held from 24th August to 5 September 2021. Indian International Olympics Committee (ILO) has also announced the official date on its website. Background: The Olympics were earlier scheduled to the to be held from 24th July to 9th August 2020 with the para olympics on 25th August the game was postponed due to the coronavirus outbreak japan announced that it had secured agreement from the ioc to postpone the game prime minister shiho abe announced that the game will be held in around a year the olympic flame which was which Which was lit would be displayed from the month at the J Village Sports Complex in Fukushima, Tokyo. International Olympics Committee (ILO) formed 23 June 1894. Headquarters: Louisiana, Switzerland. Honorary President: Belgium, Jaco Rogge. President: German, Thomas Bench. Director General: Belgium, Christopher D. Kepper. Next topic: Merger of ten PC PSBs into four come in effect of from first April. The Reserve Bank of India announced that the merger of ten state-run bank into four lenders came effect on April first amid the lockdown triggered by Corona outbreak. The branches of mirroring merging bank will operate as of the bank in which the bank have been. amalgated highlight on the march 2020 jewel announced the amalgamation scheme for the 10 state on bank into four as part of the its consolidation plan 
the move aimed to create bigger size stronger bank in the public sector the amalgamation of 10 ps psbs into four banks include united bank of india and oriental bank of commerce obc and into punjab national bank synthetic bank into the canara bank corporation bank and andhra bank into union bank of india allahabad into indian bank the circumstance the customers of the merging bank will be treated as a customers of the bank in the this bank have been merged benefit the major objective of merged is to achieve the indian vision of make as dollar five trillion economy the merger will reduce the lending cost and enhance the capacity and order to increase credit it will be also improve the ability to raise market resource next nasa to launch sunrise mission to study solar particle storm the us space agency nasa selected the proton sun radio interface space experiment sunrise mission to study how the sun create the release giant solar particle storm sunrise mission the sunrise mission will be aid scientist to understand the working of the solar system the mission b is believed to help protect future astronaut from solar storm will go going to the moon or mars as part of the explorers program sunrise mission was one of the f- two mission selected by nasa in august 2017 for the mission of opportunity program the mission initially conducted on 11 mo- month concept study it was extended for another year for formulation study by nasa in february 2019 for the program the mission is led by justin casper at the university of mclean in an abdon and managed by nasa's jet propulsion laboratory in march 2020 the mission was awarded dollar 62.6 million to design build and launch the mission the net launch date of sunrise mission 1st july 2023 national aeronautics and space administration nasa formed 29th july 1950 sir cortez washington dc united states administration jim bridgestein deputy administration james morhart ISA stout ISRO type commission for electronics the indian electronics and semiconductor association ask to government of india to set up national electronics mission in linear lines with india space agency indian space research organization or isr with this isa aims to build a home grown electronic ecosystem that would help the country reduce import of semiconductor chips and sensors sensors with that it aim to spearhead all the activities and for making india a design led manufacturing hub for the india sorry world isa also snort the central government to allocate dollar dollar 1 million for indian electronic system design and manufacturing esdm innovation fund it aims to help startups design and build local electronics pro- products isa isa is responsible for the govern development of vibrant indian electronics and semiconductor ecosystem its main objective in the establishment brand india it is reorganized worldwide as the go to destination for electronic product it also aim to bring the indian government industry and academia on a common platform and jointly work to development and promote made in india product for the global market the chairman of isa is jitendra chadda senior director operative strategic relation 
Intel India. The vice chairman of IESA is Dr. Satya Gupta, CEO Sandeep Innovation. Next, Aeon Study Circle New Tips. UPC and KS Daily Test for Films and Mains. Feather New Introduce for Aeon Study Circle Today itself. Test number 4 zero one zero four two zero two zero for April 1st 2020 first question consider the following for the this is test based on the today current affairs based consider the following statement regarding the limited liability partnership LLP first choice LLP or allow partners to benefit from Economic of scale by working together while also reducing their liability for the action of other partners. Second statement, LLPs are common in professional business like law firm, accounting firm and wealth managers. Question, which of statement given above is or are correct? Choice A or one only. Choice B. Two only choice C both one and two D neither one nor two. Second question which reference to disease of acute and syndrome AES considered the following statement? First statement apart from vital apart from viral encephalitis severe from of leptocirrhosis and tocophiloplasmosis can cause AES. Second statement, at present AES cases in India are confirmed to the coastal state of South India only. Question, which of statement are given is or correct? Choice A, one only, B, two only, C, both one and two, D, neither one nor two. The question answer for the problems, question number one, answer is C. Question number two answers A. The today mains question for question number one. How does the calamities like COVID-19 affect the different section of the society, especially the poor migrant workers? What step could be taken by the authorities to, uh, to reduce such challenge? Thank you. Think before you speak, read before you think. Prepared by Jay Kutan S. A on Study Circle. If you join our study group, all social media, Facebook, A on Study Circle, WhatsApp, 9846024053, Telegram, A on Study Circle.